Hey, how's it going everybody? Cubfan here. And today is episode 126 of Cubfan's Minecraft Let's Play. Uh, so first things first, guys. I uh, just wanted to let you guys know we are actually still in uh, Minecraft Snapshot 14W21B. Um, so we haven't updated to the 29B Snapshot, which is the most recent one as of this recording. Uh, week 30 Snapshot comes out tomorrow. I'm hoping that'll be a little bit more stable. Because um, I had some some problems with uh, blocks disappearing and stuff in the 29B snapshot. Um, so we're sticking with the 21 snapshot for now, so no guardians yet. But I do want to plan something that has to do with guardians in a way. Um, so let me just go ahead and we're going to grab some items here. So we're going to need a button. Going to need a couple sticky pistons. We're going to need some regular pistons. Just organize this. We need a boat. Um, let's see, button. Ah, we need some slime blocks. There we go. Uh, what else here? Flint and steel. We'll need some obsidian. Grab four pieces or so of, obs of obsidian. And let's see what else. Uh, got some stairs. Ah, redstone blocks is what we need. Because today we are going to make a flying machine. So let me go up to the map room and show you what I'm thinking here. So if we come up here, um, I'll just show you here. So this is the map of our immediate area around our base. So let me just get rid of the inventory there. There we go. So I don't expect a lot of guardian underwater temples to sort of spawn in this area because they can spawn in old worlds. I mean, it could happen, but I would doubt it. Um, so instead, what I'm going to focus on is these two oceans here. This ocean here, and then this ocean right there. And so we are at the green marker there underneath my cursor. And I want to make a flying machine so we can sort of do reconnaissance on these, these oceans here. Um, that goes all the way over to this canyon biome. So I'll have a, a station over here where the flying machine stops. And so we should be able to go back and forth uh, between the canyon biome and our house without touching the ground. So that's the plan. Let's go ahead and head up and we'll start to build this. So obviously this is, a, I think this is a pretty good spot here to build this in. Um, so let me just go ahead and see how many blocks we got here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 blocks. So we'll come pretty much to the middle here. We'll dig out, say about there or so. That should be good. Yep. And then we'll dig out this whole roof section here so we have a space to launch from. There we go. That should be decent. All right, let me just go ahead and put down some stairs here. So that we can get up to this craft. And let's see, we'll put one on the side there. There we go. I think that should be decent. Might want to, well, we might want to go back one more here, actually, to be totally honest. Yeah, that should be good. And then we'll have a sort of something like, uh, let's see, do we have any blocks? No, we don't have blocks. Yeah, we'll have something like, something like that there. That looks pretty cool. So that's going to be sort of our lead up to the machine. Uh, now the machine itself, uh, let's see what Y level we're at. Y87. Um, might have to go up one more for the machine itself. So let me get some cobblestone blocks, which I don't have here for some reason. Let me go down and get some blocks here. And then we'll start to build the actual machine. Let's see if we got any here. Yeah, wood will do. Okay. So we'll come over here, and what we need to do is we need to come out and back here. So we'll go ahead and place our obsidian right there so that'll be the back of the machine then we're gonna go ahead well actually we'll have it on well yeah we'll have it on this side 
So we'll go ahead and place a piston then, right there. Now we'll also need a sticky piston facing this way, and then a regular piston facing that way. And we'll need some slime blocks there and there. All right. And I'll tell you what, let's actually move this back one more just because it'll be easier for us to get on and off. So let's go ahead and move this. Well, let's do this right there. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. Okay. Now let's put it down. There we go. That one. Block there. Sticky piston right there. And then normal piston here with the sticky slime block right there. And on this side, we're going to go ahead and place sticky piston there, normal piston there, and then slime blocks. Then we'll come out um, a few blocks here, just like that. And then we'll get rid of this one. Should have brought an axe here. Place that there and get rid of all these wood blocks. So I'm going to run down and get an axe because we'll need it. And then I'll be back. Okay, so I got the axe. Uh, now we need to focus on how we make this thing go. Uh, we do that by placing down a redstone block on this slime block and this slime block. And then updating the back piston. But I want to actually make a way to automatically um, depart from this point. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to the back here. Uh, let me mark down these coordinates first here. So Y is 88, Z is 270. So that means we'll need to place a uh, obsidian block on the opposite side on Z 269. So let me just come out here and I'm just going to place, for right now at least, a obsidian block there just so that it doesn't fly off into the distance quite yet. Okay, perfect. Now let's go ahead and head back here. We're going to place a regular piston. Let me get the F3 off there. Like that. And this will update um, this bottom piston so that we can depart. And then what we'll have here, we'll have a sticky piston facing this way. All right. And then we'll have a one block gap that we can go through here. So we'll make a gap like that. And then we'll have another sticky piston right there. So let's go ahead and place a button down on that block right there. And so basically what will happen is um, this, if I place redstone blocks there, this is how the machine will come in like this. Whoops, let me get up there. Dang it, pistons, come on. Right, there we go, like that. Um, so there'll be a piston, or sorry, redstone block there and there. And we need to hit this button to be able to travel in that direction. So, uh, let's go ahead and place down our boat now. So we'll place this down there. And we'll sort of guide it into the middle of the pistons here. Like that, okay. I'm gonna back it up a little bit if I can. I think that's pretty much in the middle. Yep, I'm actually in a stair block. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, we'll we'll come up here, get in here, and then hit this button. And these pistons should reach out, pull these redstone blocks back, which should cause this piston to update, which updates the bottom piston, which starts the mechanism. So let's see it. There we go. Hooray, it works. So that was a little four block uh, ride there. And then uh, basically what happens now, uh, we have this same mechanism here, but way, way out there. And yeah, we could come back then just by doing something like this. Just by placing the redstone block here. And also right here. And then I'm just going to break this boat for now. But all we'd have to do then is use that piston mechanism to update this back piston. 
and then it flies back and then it keeps going as you can see uh, you know we hit the button get in the boat ride it back and that's basically it so there we go we got our flying machine up and going um, pretty straightforward there let me see if we can actually uh, no we can't actually put put this right there that's all right though um, I'm gonna position the boat so that we can keep it there let me slide her in there okay there we go uh, wait let's dang it stop okay let's move it back a little bit back this way I think that should be good there yeah I think that should be good I'm gonna leave that uh, obsidian block there but what I'm gonna do now I'm actually gonna go ahead and sleep here and we are going to go about 3,000 blocks this, this way into this canyon biome and pick a spot where we would like to fly to so let's go ahead and sleep through the night and get ready to venture out to the canyon biome today alright everyone so we're all ready to head out I got my map here the canyon biome might also stop by and show you the ice spikes biome um, speaking of which um, I want to get a silk touch pick for that uh, let's see, do I have a silk touch pick? That one. Do I have another one? Maybe? Silk touch X. Nope. Okay, let me get the silk touch pick here. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I got my map. And let me just hit F3 here. The coordinate we're looking for is Y88 and Z269. So right here, but a couple thousand blocks that way. And I'm going to traverse this all on foot. Um, the reason being is I actually want to uh, make sure we don't run into any mountains. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, if there's any mountains, I'm going to go ahead and cut a path through them. But wish me luck, guys. Let's go ahead and start the montage now to the Canyonlands. <laughs> So we made it to the Mesa biome finally. Um, yeah, we're about, let's take a look here, about 5,000 blocks away from our spawn. Um, and this is where the second uh, station is going to be for the flying machine. I cleared out all the mountains and things that were in the way. There's quite a few mountains in the way, especially in the savanna biomes, but we made it. Um, let me make sure we get the right coordinate here, because if we're off a single block, we might lose the flying machine forever. It might just keep going on. Uh, so we're at 88, 269, which is what we want to be at. Alrighty. And then we're just going to build up, uh, let's see, the same mechanism we had before here. Um, except the machine will not be here. So what we're going to have to do, let's see. We'll have to do something like this. So... We'll have a block there. We'll have a piston like that. Get rid of this. And then, let's see, it's going to be coming in like that. So, so let's see. It's back at the house, the blocks are pulled this way. This way. So we're going to have him pulled this way. So we need, yeah, so we need him to be pulled this way this time. So what we'll need is we'll need something like this. We'll need a block here. We'll need a sticky piston there. Just going to pill around a little bit here. Then we'll need a block there with a button on it like that. So we can actually go ahead and probably extend this out a little bit. And actually, 
mold this shape a little differently. So we'll have something like this instead. There we are. Okay, and then we'll need one more sticky piston like that. Perfect. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make a crafting table. I'm going to put just going to put it right there for now. Also going to make a chest. And we'll put this right there. I'm going to put some of this stuff in it. There we are. But yeah, this uh this should pull all the redstone blocks over and then send us back that direction whenever we want. So there we go. That's the two-way flying machine done, pretty much. Um, yeah, uh, let me just go ahead and get rid of this stuff here. Okay, so you can see here we got... Uh, Looks like, are these our dogs? Oh wow, okay. Yeah, so when I was over here earlier, I picked up a bunch of dogs, which you saw some of them back at my base. And apparently these guys somehow got left behind. So, yeah, they're back, that's cool. Alright, I think they should follow me, right? Come on, dogs. Let's see if they do. They should teleport here. Did, did they disown me? What the heck? They're definitely tamed. Where'd they go? It's kind of strange. Here, I wonder if I feed them. If I feed them meat, I wonder if they will start to follow me again. Let's see. Any luck? No, not yet. Let's see if we go a little further. They should teleport. Maybe they decided to leave me after I left them. <laughs> That's sad. Anyway, um, if I'm if I remember correctly, it should be right up here. I think we are. Yeah, at the very bottom of the map down there. Yep, those dogs definitely left me. Yep, there you go. You can see it in the distance there. Ice plane spikes, or just ice spikes. I'm not sure which one. Well, yeah, it's a pretty big ice uh, ice spikes biome. Um, And yeah, this is the same one that I showed you a screenshot of earlier. Let me see if I can get to the top of one of these hills here. Hopefully I have enough food to get back. I'm thinking I do. Yeah, there we go. Got some packed ice. Yeah, you can see it's a pretty big one. Uh, let me see if I can get a little higher even. Eat something here. Yep, there you go get some of that yep so yeah it's a pretty big like I said pretty big ice plane spikes biome um, a couple of these different big big towers and whatnot uh, I've actually thought about building like a big ice castle right on top of this um, that could be pretty awesome um, but for right now I think we're just gonna get am I picking that up yeah so we're gonna get a bunch of packed ice and then head back so yeah, I'm just going to be here get some packed ice. And I'll return when we're back at our base and we can test out our flying machine. Alright everybody, so we got, let's see, we got 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 stacks plus of packed ice. Um, so I'm going to find a place to put this. Uh, probably in here with the rest of the ice. Yeah, I need to find a place for the rest of the ice as well. Um, but then we're going to go ahead and go up and we'll test out our flying machine. Okay, everyone, I think we are now ready. Let me just go out and get this obsidian block out of here. I'm going to take one with us just in case for some reason this thing spirals out of control and we fall or something like that. I'm also going to get a stack of blocks, so let me get down here. And I'll also get some ender pearls, so let's do that real quick here. Slide through here. There we go. Perfect. Stack of 16. And yeah, let's get a stack of blocks. We might have some in here or not. Let me go down and get a stack of blocks here. 
we'll just get we'll get I guess we'll get two stacks of blocks. Two stacks of cobble should be good enough, I'd think. Alright, so now we're ready to head off. I think it's turning to night, so I guess it's the perfect time to head off. Sure, why not? Let's go ahead and head up. And I'm also gonna pick up some some more packed ice along the way. Uh, if we make it all the way out to the canyon biome. But, let's hop in the boat. Let's hit the button. And let's head for nowhere because this got away from me. Well. That didn't turn out too well. <laughs> uh, wow, yeah. Not good. <laughs> Shoot. Um. Dang. <laughs> Not what I wanted there. Let's see if we can pearl up to it. Maybe we can. Nope. We missed. Dramatically. Dang it. Let's try again here. Alright. We made it onto it now. But. Nope. Definitely not making that. Okay. Shoot. Alright everybody, so I figured out what the issue is. The issue is that you cannot use boats on this thing. So boats, as many of you probably know, have a lot of desync issues. Whereas, minecarts do not. Um, so, yeah, I've been riding this for about 2,300 blocks without issue. Um, the only thing that happened was a creeper that I outran with this thing. So that's that's a pretty good benefit. It can outrun creepers at at some spots. Um, but yeah, I'll uh, I'll go ahead and do like a time lapse now, I guess, of me riding this all the way into the mesa biome. Um, it's not the fastest thing in the world. I've been going for about two days now. Um, so yeah, it's not not too fast, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. And this is what I'm talking about here. So we got you know you got like the recon style plane over the ocean so yeah we'll be able to spot some guardian temples once we update to the uh... 14w30b snapshot so yeah i'll go ahead and do a time lapse now and yeah let's see how we do
Oh boy, this could be interesting here with this skeleton on this hill. This might be bad. Um. <laughs> yeah, this. Let's see what happens here. If he sees me, I might try and shoot him first. If he sees me. Oh, yeah, that aerial assault, though. Ha <laughs> ha! Heck yes! Taking out mobs from the flying machine in style. Okay, so we're in the last about 50 blocks or so now. Made it out here to the Mesa biome. We are nearly 5,000 blocks away from the base. It's a cloudy day out. It's about four, game, four in game days later. Um, total time has been about, let's see, what has it been about? Oh, look at this, look at this. Look at that precision. Accuracy. I can count, apparently. So, very good. Let's bail. Land, sweet land. Let me F5 out. There we go. Okay. Sweet. We made it. Hooray. It works. And, yeah. So, the only thing we had to change is the vehicle we travel in. So, yeah. Don't use boats because boats still need to be fixed. Fix your game, Mojang. Honestly. Um, yeah, boats definitely do need to be looked at for real, though. Okay, so I went to the uh, Ice Plane Spikes biome. Got a bunch more packed ice here. Um, so that's good. So now what we're, we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go back. And to do that, you have to destroy the minecart, actually. And you want to go ahead and place a block here. Then place a rail down. I thought I heard a skeleton burning. Maybe not. Uh, place a rail down. Then a minecart. And then go ahead and break that block and we want to position it so that it's actually back a little further so it's on both pistons at the same time like that and actually even a little bit further up like that should be decent whoa <laughs> yeah that should be okay I think yep so then all you have to do is get in hit the button and we should be off here so here we go there we are. Alright, we're off. Sweet. Alright. So, I'm going to spare you guys the 30 minute ride back. And I'll be back once we are ready to turn down the sound. No. Uh, actually, I'll be back when we're ready to see who today's highlighted channel is. Okay, so high altitude reconnaissance plane. Check. And I went ahead and put the minecart and the minecart rail 
in here. Um, that way we can just place them down whenever we want to. Um, so yeah, happy that's working now. And I just want to show you on this map down here. You can see, so this is where we are. Right there. And you have to cross, I counted about 15 biomes to get to the Mesa biome over here. So, pretty long, long way. But, uh, yeah, I think it'll be worth it and it'll help us spot um, temples from above. So that's that. Um, I also enchanted this shovel, just got an unbreaking one, nothing enchantment on it. So let's go ahead and we'll go down to the mine shaft here. So we'll drop down and make our way over this way. So I'll be back once we get down there. All right, we're down here in the mine shaft now, and today's highlighted channel is. Soupy. So Soupy left a comment uh, last time saying that they wanted Prismarine in the Nether Castle treasure room. And yeah, I thought that was a pretty good idea. Am I using the right pick here? I'm using Silk Touch. I don't want to use that. I want to use that one, that one, and the Fortune 3. There we go. Okay. So yeah, they left a comment saying they wanted Prismarine and detailed why they wanted Prismarine. And that seemed to be the general consensus. A lot of you guys wanted Prismarine. Uh, some people wanted Prismarine and Ice. Um, other people wanted um, something like Snow or like Jungle Ruins. I need to get some more torches here. But uh, yeah, Soupy left a pretty good comment on why he wanted Prismarine. So I think we'll go with something Prismarine-esque um, in the Nether Castle Treasure Room. But Soupy, this is your mine shaft. So let's go ahead and see how you do against the other competitors. Okay, so just finished digging out Soupy's mine shaft, and Soupy also has a channel where he does Minecraft videos and things like that, so go ahead and check that out. There'll be a link in the description. And we got the following resources from this mine shaft, and the total points for this come to 3,638. So I'll go ahead and head back, and we'll see how he does against the other competitors. Alright everyone, Soupy coming in third place today with 3,638 points, so a pretty good mine shaft today. No diamonds though, that's alright. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and head back up. And while we're heading back up, uh, I just want to give you some channel news here. Um, so, I, uh, I'm i going to be starting up some new series in the next week, week and a half or so. Um, we'll be continuing to play in this world, and in fact, there'll be more episodes uh, of Minecraft. Uh, because I know that you guys like these Let's Play episodes. Um, but we're also going to be playing some other games like Space Engineers. We're also going to be returning to Goat Simulator. So stay tuned for that. So it should be a pretty good series. Um, also, I want to highlight some fan art here. Um, so this is from Black Silver MC. This is a image that he made of himself and myself. Um, he's yielding the sword, cutting off the zombie's head. And I'm yielding the bow to sort of uh, keep him at bay. And I thought that was pretty cool. I'm going to try and highlight... Um, one fan art from uh, one person per episode. So yeah, keep sending those. Um, I'll post them all on Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash cubfan135. And uh, yeah, the best way to send it to me is on Twitter. I know a lot of you guys have been sending them. Um, so I want to give you guys some uh, some shout outs uh, for, for doing that because I, I really do appreciate it, guys. And uh, I think that's going to be it for me today. I uh, hope you guys like this episode and more great stuff to come. So thank you very much for watching. This has been Cub Fan. Goodbye.